Hello guys, it's me, MathEU here. Today I want to talk about something a little weird, something a little similar to my old matchmaking video, but I wanted to do it again. Over the course of Season 16, I have tracked every single game that I have played across multiple accounts. Uh, the season released, I believe, 19 days ago as of recording this, and I have logged 291 games total. I have the most amount of my games played on an account called Greed, so we'll be using that because they're, depending on the account, changes the numbers pretty dramatically. So I want to focus on this account specifically because this is the one with the weirdest amount of anomalies going on, and it's the one with the most amount of data because it's the most amount of games played. Now, to preface, I understand 120 games is not a large data set. It's actually such a comically small data set that there's almost no actual information to be gained through the data because there's not enough of it. I get it. However, I just thought it'd be interesting to go over the data that I've got so far. And then maybe in, I don't know, maybe when I've got a few thousand games logged, we can go over the data again and see if it's any similar, right? That's basically it. So don't say, oh, well, you've only got 100 games. That means this is invalid or whatever. I understand that, okay? So, on the Greed account, I've played 120 games. 65 of those games were wins, and 55 of those games were losses. 49 of the games that I won, I got the expected modifier, meaning 75.3% of my wins this season have been expected wins. Of the 55 losses, 46 were reversals, which means a ridiculous 83.6% of my losses were reversals. After tracking all of my ELO gains and losses, it showed that my average ELO gained per win was 19.1, but my average ELO decline was 24.2. This means at a 50% win rate, I would be losing 5.1 ELO per game. This means for me to break even in ELO gains and losses, I would have to win 1.2675 games for every time I lose. So for me to maintain a neutral ELO value, I would have to maintain a 56% win rate. That means over the course of season 16, one of my accounts is deranked from mid masters all the way to low diamond while maintaining a 54% win rate. Now, that's already pretty funky and weird, um, and something's obviously very, very wrong with the matchmaker, or something's goofy in general, because that does already is a bit fucking insane. Um, so, of my total 120 games, I had 600 unique teammates. 720 players on my team total when I include myself, but we're not going to. Over my 120 games, I had 31 games where a teammate of mine went negative. And I'm not counting people that played Mercy or Lifeweaver or things like that because those characters obviously don't receive a lot of eliminations. So it wouldn't be fair to include them in the data. So anything, the data is skewed towards the amount of players having a positive KD to be higher because I'm actually excluding characters that usually have a negative KD just for the data, right? So to go over that again, a hundred, over my 120 games, I had 31 games where a teammate of mine went negative. I had 41 games with two negative teammates. I had 14 games with three negative teammates, 19 games with four negative teammates, and 11 games with five negative teammates, and four games total with zero negative teammates. That means my average number of teammates with a negative KD per game was 2.38. 3.3% of my games had no negative players on my team, 25.8% had one negative player, 34.2% had two negative players, 11.7% have three negative players, 15.8% had four negative teammates, and 9.2% of games had five negative teammates. That means 96.7% of my games had a teammate with a negative elim to death ratio, and 70.9% of my games had two or more players performing poorly. Over those 120 games, my average elims per game was 40.25, and my average deaths was 4.21. This means my average KD across this entire season is a whopping 9.5, and yet I'm unable to carry games hard enough to pull myself out of Masters or Diamond, while I maintain a 50% win rate in GM1 on my main account. 
my average elo gains and losses on that account are 21.2 for a win and 20.4 for a loss um, so what does this actually mean right what is what is all that data mean right because when you just like say the numbers like that it's nonsense right basically what it means is the matchmaker is completely and entirely fucked it's broken at least for this account now the numbers don't necessarily represent the same strange anomalies across other accounts to the same degree anyway though it is similar so across a lot of other accounts i had a similar a ratio of reversals to expected though i did have one account where the vast majority of my wins were uphill battle and the vast majority of my losses were consolation and that game flew up in elo i believe it placed in gold and it's got like a 70 percent win rate or something it's something ridiculous like that basically every time i win i get like 28 elo it's insanely broken i don't know what's going on with that account but that account for some reason is in smurf gear or whatever and it thinks like it needs to rank me up super fast so that's the only account i play on with an abnormality towards the gaining elo towards the the deranking of elo uh i have a few accounts where the elo gains are relatively normal like my main account like i said where i'm gaining about 21 and losing about 20 um and that ends up being pretty normal for most people i would imagine um but then yeah for the vast majority of my accounts the majority of my wins tend to be expected and the vast majority of my losses tend to be reversals and that's also keep in mind that 70.9% of my games had at least two players performing poorly to the point of having a negative a limb to death ratio, which is not that easy in the video game of Overwatch. You really, if you do one tick of damage to someone and they die shortly afterwards, you get an elimination. You can do basically nothing and get an elim. So to have a negative a limb to death ratio, you have to be playing really badly. And for 70.9% of my games, to have at least two players performing that badly is absolutely absurd and it makes absolutely no sense i don't know why the matchmaker is so consistently putting me in games where i have teammates that are performing like absolute garbage and not only that they're performing like garbage the where the enemy team is also performing well enough to capitalize on the fact that my teammates are doing garbage the vast majority of the, the enemy players i go against are pretty good and the vast majority of those players don't have uh negative teammates or so on i've actually got all the the numbers for that in the math i can probably do that in another video because i'd have to pause this and, and go look at the math uh and redo it all but from what i can see generally speaking the vast majority of the enemy team are performing normally um which is strange considering the fact the vast majority of my teammates are performing badly now that doesn't mean that my account has some kind of mark on it that says that for example this is the carry role and therefore it's giving me teammates that are going to perform worse so that i can carry them for whatever reason and that you know maybe that is a thing maybe it's not i don't know but it would be weird to me to look at the data that I've got so far, which again isn't exactly a large data pool, but to see how comically out of shape the numbers are compared to what is to be expected is unreal. Now, is it the chance it's just a, a large amount of statistical anomalies occurring relatively near each other and that's just it is what i just got so unbelievably unlucky to to get numbers like this could be true uh, and that's honestly the reason i'm making the video is i want to ask other people do your numbers look like this if you track your games and stuff are your numbers similar to this are they are they vastly different to this or yours normal like i want to encourage people to start tracking their games track the map you get the rank range the stats of yourself and your teammates um stuff like that right and i want you to do that for a full season and actually analyze the numbers and you'll see pretty quickly that in some cases for some people specifically on some accounts as well there is a very very strange thing going on with the matchmaker where it seems to be putting certain accounts in weird games on purpose now that might not be what's happening again it might just be unlucky but from what i've seen so far that seems to be true i have a friend that plays predominantly mercy but can play the other supports and what i did with them is i said okay for the entirety of season 15 i want you to only play anna 
right? And they were playing Ana and they weren't very good, but eventually they got to the point where they were maintaining a 50% win rate. And then when they started to win games, as they improved, because I was coaching them at the time, they started to get up into the 60% win rates and started doing very well. Then out of nowhere, they hit a brick wall when they got to like mid diamond and they just could not win. They were getting feeding tanks every game. They were getting DPS doing nothing every game. And I thought it's just, it's just a bit fucky. It's just the matchmaking being weird. It is what it is. Let me play on the account and see what it's like. I played five games in a row and all five games had at least three teammates with a negative KD or more or more players with a negative KD and I lost every game. I got absolutely slammed by these diamond players. Every game I played on that account, I then swapped to another account that was diamond, played the same hero in, the, in a similar rank range and won every single game I played. No problem. Now, is that just, could that just be a weird coincidence? Again, absolutely it could be. But again, it's weird to me that if I'm on one account that's Diamond 3 and I'm getting fucking slammed by the players, they're way better than me on the enemy team, and my teammates are performing drastically worse than the enemy team and are at some point doing so poorly that their, win their, their elim to death ratio is negative, that's insane. And then I can jump on another account that's in the same rank range, play the same heroes and so on, and then all of a sudden maintain a 100% win rate across all the games I play. None of my teammates are performing badly or anything. I'm performing just fine across all the games I play consistently across them all. I just think that's weird. And then there are times where I'll go back on that other account again, I'll try it and I'll lose all my games again. It's just bizarre. Could it be some weird thing where the settings are slightly different and I don't feel it or whatever and that's making me perform slightly worse is it a, a thing where it's almost like a placebo effect where because I'm going in with it and a certain expectation where I lose on this account maybe I'm going to start losing again I go in with that negative attitude that maybe that's contributing to losses too and maybe when I'm getting on an account that wins more I'm going in with a more positive attitude because I'm expecting the you know for me to win more because that's what's averagely happening on the account and it's it's changing my mood based on my perception of what the account will offer me in my ranked games that could absolutely be an outcome of this and um chances are that is likely what it's going to be there's probably not some funky weird thing going on with the matchmaker where they're like cursing accounts or whatever but it is weird to me that over the course of this entire time of me tracking all this data it's been so weird because i would get it if there were a couple of games that were funky but like over 80% of my games, if not more, being fucked is a bit weird. Like I think at that point, once you're getting into the 80, 90% things you start to be like maybe it's not a statistical anomaly where it's just coincidence and maybe there is something a bit fucky going on because if it was like 55 percent of my games you'd be like yeah it is what it is right it's the matchmaker shit's gonna happen right but even like 70 percent that's that feels a bit weird to me now it could again just be a coincidence but to me personally i think it's fucked i think something's going on I think something is going weird. I think it's to do with the Smurf protection primarily because they did say they released the Smurf protection system. I think it, what it does is it, it labels uh, certain players based on, like they've almost got a hidden MMR system attached to them and based on their hidden MMR, it will calculate your team's average hidden MMR. So for example, let's say you've got 2000 hidden MMR and the, all everyone else in your teammates, uh, every other one of your teammates has like a thousand MMR, then it might try to put you in that game with those 1000 MMR players to maintain your team's average MMR to be comparative with the enemy team's MMR, which might all average out to be higher. They might all be like 1500 MMR, right? You know what I mean? And it's assigning you as the carry role to try and boost up. It's giving the, the shittier players with the, the lower MMR a higher MMR teammate to compensate for the fact that um, the enemy team's MMR is going to be higher if it makes the game. So it could be done to increase queue times, or sorry, to, to make queue times faster, and it could be done to increase engagement or whatever it may be. I don't know. But either way, I thought the numbers were weird, and I just wanted to make a video about it. And uh, that's all. Mwah. I love you all. I hope you have a good day. I hope you eat some lasagna. Or maybe don't eat lasagna, actually. Maybe eat some vegetables. You probably need some vegetables. Mwah. Have a good day. I love you all. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.